You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today because I am going to check out this Heart a Japanese candy making kit. It looks like I'm going to be making fish or sushi and then there is a drink on the side. Now I have a uh, Always been in search of different kits that I've never done before. I think I have probably one of the largest of playlists for all the kits that I've done. If you want to add in all the other candy kits with Yummy Nummies and other companies, it's got to be well over 80 kits, 90 kits altogether. So I like to do them and I like to show them to you. All right, so let's check out the rest of the box. Now there is a number eight there. What does that mean, the eight? Hmm, I don't know. Either way, that is the, oh, the drink is actually not shown back here. It's shown here. You put it in a glass, you put in water, 100 cc's of water, and then you add two ice cubes to it. And then this is your final results to enjoy your treats. All right, so here is everything I need. There's one, two, three, four packets. There's a little set of chopsticks, a couple trays. What I need are some cups, some water, some ice cubes, a glass, and it almost looks like I need the spoons, but we will see. I will come back and I will get this out of the box. We'll get set up, have the water, and get started. All right, here we go. Gives me a chance to set up my work surface, and now let's get this out of the package. I have gathered some supplies. They are off to the side because I want to just verify what's actually in here with you now. Okay, so that is the kit. I actually started translating some of that, so I'm ready to go there. Okay, there is my tray. It looks to be pretty cool. That is actually my serving dish, so I'll be able to present everything to you on that. Here is my tray for the different uh, shapes and then here are my chopsticks and a neat little packaging there you go looks to be a happy family there and then they're regular wood chopsticks okay that's nice and then you have this packet which is the drink packet and then you have a little orange packet a little pinkish packet and then what's left in the back is a little green pack. Now a couple things I noticed. One, they were saying to get an estimate on the water, if you fill all of these trays with water and put them in the cups, you will have the approximate 20 cc's. Now I don't have little cups like this, so I'm going to use, if these are the right size, we will see, and they are microwavable little bowls. It'll make it easier for me to mix. So I'll bring those in. And then I have a measuring cup that does milliliters, so that'll help me there. And then I have my water. And then I was thinking about using this for the drink. So we'll see. I've, it's actually from another kit that was a drink kit. So there, that's everything I think I'm going to need. Oh, the spoon, but I'll grab that. I'll be right back and I will get started. All right, I am back. Now I've rearranged everything here. So I have it in the order that I want to use it because pink bag goes first. Now I was looking at this and it looks like they have pink and orange mugs. I don't have those. Uh, to match the bags. I guess to let you know which is which. I'm not sure so you can keep track. The first thing though is 20 cc's in each of the two uh, in 20 cc's in each of the cups that you're going to use. Now I decided these remember and then I have this measuring cup which can get me right on 20 cc's So I'll put 20 in this. Okay, and then I mix in the pink powder first and hover it to the microwave. And we'll see how that goes over there. I usually show that step. Okay, so this one, let's move this out of the way. Goes with this one for later. Let's mix this and uh, then head over to the microwave. So here we go, packet number one. the pink color and I have decided on my spoon here we go the 
It almost smells like bubble gum to me. That's what it smells like. Not almost. I'll just go a little bit till I get that grindy sound. You hear that grindy sound? Now, it did say the microwave 500 watts for 30 seconds. I have a 700 watt microwave, so I'm going to drop it down to 25 seconds, I think. Okay, listen. No more grittiness. All right, so let's head over to the microwave. Okay, here we go. 25 seconds. We'll see what happens. If it bubbles up, foams up, I'm not sure. We'll check it out. Okay, it is foaming up, and that is the time. All right, so, ooh, and it just stayed in the cup. Maybe it's a little dribbled over the edge. So let's head over to the video booth. All right, so here's what it looks like. I would say it has slightly thickened up. So I'm just getting a little mix here. Now you wanna fill the little shrimp side up to this part, then I'm going to fill this, then I'm going to put some more on top. So I'll just have to be very patient here. Kind of do a half of this to see if that's just enough. And that looks like it is. It's right to that edge. All right, the second one, I'm going to go microwave that. We've seen the process now. It does bubble up over just a little bit off the edge. I should be okay. Okay, I'll be right back then. Oh, actually, let me do this. I'll mix this with you right now. Let's move that off to the side. Let's bring this one in. Bring in another trusty mixing utensil. Okay, here we go. The second one, gonna be orange in color. Let's see if we get that gritty sound. Yes, look at that. Listen, we'll try to keep that from being overly gritty, okay. So we'll mix that out. All right, so I'm gonna head over there now. No reason to show the second time. This way we know it's just gonna bubble up. I lost a little bit on the bottom, but I was able to salvage it. So if you do do this, make sure your bowls are just a little bit bigger than this. It doesn't need to be a mug, it seems to be okay but just a little bit bigger than the vessels I have. All right, all right, here we go. Now this one definitely has a really nice orange flavor. So now I wanna put just a little bit, I'm gonna move over, well, I'll do it right here. I'm gonna put a little bit in each tail and then I need to fill all of these and then I need to mix the two colors. This one is still starting, it's still good. Just getting a little bit set. So I need to move, I need to move quick. Here we go. That, uh, that was not a good pour. See that? Maybe this is not the best pourer. Let me try it at a different angle this way and see if that works. There we go. Okay, so one little scoop was enough to set all of those. Okay, and now I need to go over the top. Let me just look here. Okay, so I did that, did that, and I'll put more pink over the top to connect it. I'm gonna have to clean my mat after this video.
I would almost say get the smallest spoon you can because the bigger the spoon, the harder it appears. Now, I like to come in with a little cleanup tool here. So this way I can clean up my tray. There we go. Okay, so that one's set. Mmm, the flavors actually smell great. All right, so now orange and these for a little bit of a layer on the bottom of each one. This will be easier now because it's a bigger section. You really don't know how much. Looks like I've got plenty, but you have to be careful because you need enough to do the other sections. Well, I'm not I'm not digging my measuring spoon. This one doesn't seem to pour very nice compared to the other one. And now that I'm mixing this into the pink, it's going to warm it up. So hopefully that will help. Okay, Ooh, maybe a little bit more. I don't know if it's my table. There we go. There and there. Okay, now ooh, I gotta take this and mix this into this. Here we go. Not much left. I think I'm going to use the red one. I like it better than this green one. Get a slightly different shade there. Let's see if I can get you a better angle. Here we go. enough. Okay. Whew. We did it. All right. Now looking at this, we've just done this and then it says put the whole thing in the refrigerator, I believe. But it's interesting. They show this step. They show these taken out. By the time you get here, this taken out, but then everything goes in here. So I don't think I was supposed to, doesn't say to remove them anywhere till you get to here. So I'm going to put these in the fridge, come back and pull everything out. Okay, here we go. It is time for the next group of steps. Pretty exciting. It's been in the refrigerator for an hour. It came out pretty nice. Now I'm going to turn it over just to see. I don't think anything's going to come out, but you get a good idea of the color difference here. And this is the mixture of the two, but I think it's leaning more towards the orange color. Now I had this little tool here that actually a whole bag of them that I got somewhere. I don't remember where. So now it wants me to put my soy in the corner here or my little sauce. It's not going to be savory because I'm guessing it's all going to be sweet and then decorate this however I want. They kind of show the little accent pieces. Maybe they're on the box somewhere. I didn't see them. The little greenery. You see that there? I don't see it. Sometimes you can cut these things out of the boxes, but I didn't notice that. All right, so let's get some shapes out of here. Here we go. They said use a toothpick, so that's why I thought, hey, let me try this new tool. I can maybe hold things better. We will see. You know, you think something's going to be great, and then all of a sudden, it's not. Okay, how about we do this? I will slide this out and flip it over. There we go. So there is a textured pattern on that. Let's do another one. They kind of show three of these here. I'll, I'll just match what they're doing here because they obviously have a presentation in mind. Okay, and then they 
I show one up in this top section. Let me see if I can get one of these out. Okay, and then two shrimps up here. They come out really easy, actually. Wow, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Here, let me do this. Let me try to give you a better camera shot here. It's always a challenge to get those right angles where everybody can enjoy different perspectives. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I put my hand around this way, I could drop a few more of these out. There we go. I'm going to put them opposite each other. And then I have three more here of these. Let's flip it this way. It's very slippery, so everything is moving around. Okay. I don't know how they fit all of this on there. I think I like the shrimps the best. The way this is designed, everything is just sliding down. See that? Okay, there's number three. Okay, those are there, those are there. And then they show a little fishy. I'm going to put my little fishy in the middle. Kind of. Ooh, my tray hit it. Come on, little fishy. Plop. And then I'll put the little florette or flowerette up here. I want to turn this one over. Okay, there we go. Oof. It's slipping and sliding everywhere. Now my soy. And then I have to make the drink, so I am not officially done yet. I'll explain all these tastes. Okay, there we go. Let's move this out of the way. This will set now. I'll bring this in. Okay. And then this. Remember, they said do it on a cup. I'll try to make it so that you can see the opening there. All right. So the top of this said, it kind of shows it all happening at the same time. Like you're pouring the powder in and 100 cc's. But... Let me just do this in here because I gotta. This only goes to 60. Okay. And now 40. All right. Okay. It should be a good size cup. There we go. And now the powder. Look at this packet. The most colorful of all the packets I've seen. There he is. Oh, and the ice. Let me grab a couple small cubes that I have off to the side. Here, I'll just set them in this cup for now. They actually came out of my ice machine, but they were small because I didn't want them too big. Okay, here we go. Oh, this just has a nice little pull tab. Here, let me do this. I'm going to bring it back a little bit more. We do want to see this fizzing, don't we? Okay, here we go. It doesn't show any mixing, but I'll just pour it in. It does have a, oh yeah, look, it's fizzing up. Here, I'll show you from the top. It's fizzing up real nice. Okay, my two ice cubes. It should, it should go over like they say now. 
Just like they said, have a plate underneath because you're going to get some fizzing. All right, so there is my meal. I will try that in a second. Let me bring this in. Everything, look, this slid all the way over. These slid. All right, so I get to try. All right, here, normally when I do these chopsticks, I kind of break them apart, and then I give them a little... Just in case there's any wood scraps in between there. All right, here we go. I'll just take one of my little combo pieces. It's going to get squished. Put it in this. And here we... Mmm. It's very sweet. It kind of reminds me of like a little brown sugar mixture. Brown sugar and like a molasses kind of mixture. Now here's a shrimp. Mm, I like it. The orange flavor is really nice. And then here we go. I'm going to take this, whatever they would call it, drink. They don't call it... Ah. Mm. Reminds me of a... Mm, what's that flavor? Kind of lemonish, Ramune flavor. All right, here we go. I'll take one of these. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Mmm. Probably one of the tastiest kits I've ever had. And this has got a really nice flavor to it. All right. We did it. The next kit. And thank you all for your support over the years. And watching, I think it was a success. So stay tuned. The next kit I find, hopefully soon... I don't have any more kits right now, but I will find more. I do appreciate it. And check in that description, I'll have my thoughts in there. I don't know if you know, if you're new to the channel, I always add little extra thoughts of things maybe I could have done different or things I might have changed down in LPS Thoughts. Go check that out. One more little shrimp here. Again, thanks. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.